Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Nathan's 3D Factory. In this episode, I'm going to be doing a pineapple. So first, I'm in the default scene that I've created and I'm going to delete that default cube. There we go. Next, I'm going to add a mesh circle. There we go. Now, I'm going to change the vertex count to 12 vertices and then I'm going to change the radius to 20. Next, I'm going to do my fill type as N-Gon. Okay, scroll over there. All right, and then I'm gonna tab into edit mode. I'm gonna press E to extrude. I'm gonna do it 60, and then I'm going to add loop cuts with, you know, loop cuts with Shift R, and I'll do five loop cuts. And then I'll skip out of that. Next, what I'm gonna do is that I am going to scale the top and the bottom by doing the loops there and there and then I'm going to turn on proportional editing by pressing O and I'm going to scale and I'll do shift Z so that I exclude the Z axis and then I'm going to scroll on the mouse wheel so that I can adjust that proportional editing field so I go kind of up and down just to kind of get it just right. And then once I have my spot, there we go. Now, next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to take some, uh, some knife cutting. I'm going to go from the bottom diagonally toward the top. And I'm going to press K for, K, uh, for the knife tool. I'm going to take each of those vertices and just go diagonally up. And then press enter when I'm good with it. Next, I'm going to skip the, the second vertex in that right there and go to the third one. There we go. I'll do something similar, but when it ends right there, I'm also going to go up the other direction until I hit a limit there and just do the same thing and just kind of go back and forth. Press enter there. There we go. And then I'll repeat the process here. So I keep going with those. All right. And it's just kind of a repetitive task where it just goes back and forth. And then hit enter once that's good. And then last one there. Do the same pattern. And then hit enter. Now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to go on the top of the mesh here and I'm going to take these two vertices from here to here. Hit enter. So I have a nice edge that I can take that I can use to cut. Same thing at the bottom. There. Now you'll notice that we have all the diagonally cut vertices and edges and faces and all that stuff on the one side, but not on the other side. So what I want to do is that I want to go into the wireframe by pressing Z. And I'm going to take all that stuff and then X, V, that gets rid of all those vertices there. And now I'm left with half that mesh. Now I'm going to go to my 3D cursor as my pivot point by pressing the period key and then I'm going to select everything by pressing A and then I'm going to shift D to duplicate and then S Y negative 1 and then I'm going to select everything by pressing A and then I'm going to do M merge by distance and that removes any doubles that I have there now if I press Z, go to solid, you see that I have everything there. Now what I want to do is that I want to make this all one face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that edge right there. Oops. Okay. That is going to be dissolving the edges. That's what I want to do. Okay. I'm going to do the same at the top. Dissolve edges. Okay. There we go. 
Now the next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to take all those vertices, every other one, so I'll skip every, vertice, uh, every other vertex, and then I'm going to scale those, turn off proportional editing, and I want to go back to median point. And I didn't turn off proportional editing. Okay, so now I have that turned off. I want to scale that 1.1. Okay, and I'm going to do the same thing for the ones at the bottom. Every other vertex I'm going to select. I'm going to scale that 1.1 as well. There. Now the next thing I'm going to do is that I'm going to go into my wireframe and then I'm going to select all these vertices in the middle by pressing C on the control on the keyboard and then I'm going to select that with my left mouse button and just do kind of a paint selection. Then I'm going to scroll down on the mouse wheel and then I'm going to take the middle mouse button and click on that to get rid of the ones that I don't want to scale. So middle mouse button, middle mouse button there and there and just do that and I'm going to take all the vertices that have more than two edges intersecting. I'm going to have like four edges intersecting those. But as I do that, then I'm left with the vertices that I want to select, that I want to scale out. And I'm going to press S. I'm going to scale at 1.1. And then I have all those scaled how I want. And then there you go. I'm going to go back into my uh, solid. Next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to put my cursor at this point. I'm going to go to cursor to selected. There we go. I'll tab out of edit mode. And then what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, add a curve and I'll do a Bezier curve. Okay. And then I'm going to tab into edit mode and now I'm in that object. And then I'm going to press X and uh, delete the vertices and then I'm going to add some leaves here. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to press shift spacebar 9. Okay and so that gets the draw mode it automatically does that for me. I love keyboard shortcuts. And I'm going to start drawing these leaves that are going to come out the top. There's one and then I'm going to rotate around and do the orbit. There's another orbit around. Get another right here good and now one last one here so we have like four leaves on here this should be good to illustrate the point next what I want to do is that I want to add a profile for those leaves so I'm going to add another Bezier curve so shift a uh, to do that okay all right so now I've got that I'm gonna tab into edit mode I'm going to scale out, and then I'm going to get out of this draw mode for a moment. So I'll go into my standard select mode, and then I'll do a control right click to add more vertices here. Okay, there we go. So now we've got a profile, but right now it's open, and so I want to do Alt-C to toggle cyclic. That way it closes the curve, and now i got that cool curve profile that I can use for those leaves. I'm also going to rename this from Bezier Curve.001 to Profile. That way I can keep myself somewhat organized in this chaos. Next, these leaves, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the geometry. Okay, and so I'm just kind of fumbling around there. There we go. Almost. Okay, now I'm going to go into geometry, and then down here we have the bevel object. Right now it's at round, I want to change that to object. And then that one that we named profile is going to be the bevel object now. Now you'll see that we have these so that we have even thickness throughout and everything, but we want to fill the caps and then we want to go ahead and taper these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode again so that we can, uh, so we can take these so that they're not that even thickness. To do that taper, I'm going to do an Alt-S on each of these vertices. 
And then I'm just going to pull it downward on each of those tips, like so. There we go. There's another tip. Okay, and then I also want to do that for the roots. So I'm going to you know, select all those roots for each of those curves that we put in, and there we go. And then, in the middle of these, we can swell, we can flare them out, right? Just do Alt-S, and I just pull up on that. I uh, forgot that one for the tip. So let's go back into that. And now we're going to swell that one out. There we go. Okay. Do the same thing there. So we have all those so that we flare them out in certain points. So makes it look a lot more like we have an actual pineapple with some, uh, some leaves that do some really cool stuff. Right? Also, what we can do uh, once we've gotten those to where they're flared out, to where we like them, is that we can take Control T and tilt these. So if we don't like the tilt, maybe it doesn't look quite right to us, then we can do Control T and then just kind of rotate that around, right? We can do that for each of those. So for the most part, I'm pretty good with these, but there's just that one that I don't quite like. Okay. So, um, so that gives you kind of the basic idea of what you can do on mating, uh, making a pineapple, modeling a pineapple there. Okay, and so uh, you can adjust these as you need to kind of make these so that they're uh, so that they're a little bit more even. Uh, you got a lot of stuff that you can do to tweak these things. So anyway, so these are just kind of like the basic principles of how to do a low poly pineapple in Blender. So tab out of edit mode. So um, thank you so much for watching this video on doing this pineapple. I hope this gives you some inspiration. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a great day, everyone. Um, I really appreciate you watching our video here. Thanks.